Today you're going to learn how to create a simple Photoshop project using the filters. So first of all, open up Photoshop. Once you have Photoshop open, go to File and open up the image that you're going to use. When your image is open, remember to save as and change the names so that you don't save over the top of your original image. I like to save on the desktop for quick access. So you have your image open. You're in Photoshop and some things you need to know about Photoshop. First of all, we use the toolbar, which is on the side over here, and you can set your toolbar up so that it is doubled up in tools or in a single line. So we're going to just double it up. That's the way I like to have my workspace. And then we're going to be using layers a lot. So your layers panel is here. If your layers, if you don't see layers, go to window and make sure that layers is checked and then layers will open up on the side for you. It's not there. Go into Windows. Open it up. <clears throat> okay, so in your Layers panel, see that we've got our picture right here. So we're on our layer background. We're going to go ahead and go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and then there's all kinds of filters that you can choose in here. And I like to go and move my picture down so it's smaller so I can see what it's going to actually do to the whole picture, not just to a piece of it. So if you can make yours visible, and then go ahead and just start clicking around on the different filters. And see what each of the filters does. You have all kinds of filters under each of these areas. So you're going to click through those and see what those do, and then go ahead and choose one that you would like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use Poster Edge. <clears throat> Say OK. So I've got my Poster Edge filter on there and now I want to add text. So I click on my text tool and then I just go over here and I'm going to type it at the top. So I'm going to say Royals World Champions. You can see I can't see it very well and it's kind of a weird font maybe for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my move tool and move it into the picture so I can see it a little bit better. Still not the same the font I want to use. So I'll double click on this and I am going to change the font to a different style font. So let's try, try this one. Okay, so now it's a little bit too big. So I'll go ahead and change the size and I'm going to change it down to about 150 a little bit better. I can move it around, see it a little bit better, and then the last thing I'm going to do is go to my effects key. It's at the bottom of your layers panel. Click that, choose stroke, and I'm putting a black stroke on to make it easy to see. Make sure this is set to outside. You can alter the size of your stroke right here. You can alter the color by clicking on this. Say OK. And when I chose the color for my text, when I was on my text layer, you can see the color is here. I wanted to use the royal blue, so I used the little eyedropper here and chose the royal blue color, which drops it into the color palette and changed my royal, world champions to the royal blue color. And that's it for a simple how to filter a picture and add text.